This looks like the kind of capsule I need to scan the worm. After inserting the worm into the capsule, you'll need to scan it. You'll also need to scan yourself. The scanners, with my remote assistance, will upload both yours and the worm's DNA into the Dreamcore's guardware. This will allow you access through the airlock. Both scanners are located in the med lab. This is the security of it. I'm guessing this is the cybernetics office. DNA and cellular composition of biological entity analyzed and cleared for entry and insertion into core. DNA and cellular composition analyzed. After you've scanned both the worm and yourself, you need to locate a key to the core room. The security officer in shift won't be in his office. I'll make sure of that. But Rio told me they always keep a spare key around. That's in blatant violation of security procedures, but it makes our job a lot easier. You'll need to search the security offices to find it. The security in this office is pretty heavy. I'll need to do exactly what Damien told me to do. The security office has an isolated grid that isn't connected to the building systems. If it's on, I'm afraid you're going to have to disengage that too. It can be switched off from the inside by one of the security spiders. Check the cybernetics office. There should be an extra spider in there. Use the software I uploaded to your mobile to control it remotely. Inside the security office, there'll be a dock where the spider can access the local grid. The spider you'll be controlling won't have the right security clearance, however, so you'll need to find a way to upgrade its clearance. If you fry one of the patrolling spiders and download its clearance, you should be able to dock with the security office grid.
Damien said that I can control a spider remotely with the software he put on my mobile. Spider. It's a docking pad for the spiders. Who would be stupid enough to leave a data key in, in a jacket pocket? Yes, idiots. When you found the spare key in the security office, use it to enter the core room. We need to get the worm into the dream core. Once that's done, I can start pulling information from the core to my console. To get to the core, you must pass through the airlock and a decontamination process. And don't worry, it's perfectly harmless. From this point on, you'll need to be vigilant. There's a team on duty in the core room, most likely two or three scientists. They'll be preoccupied, however, so you should be able to sneak past them. If they spot you, they'll trigger the alarm, and you'll be fried, literally. Go to the lower platform. That's where you'll find the injection tube. Insert the capsule with the worm into the tube, push the button, and the worm will do the rest. After that, all you need to do is stay low and get out as fast as you can. I'll cut the alarm to the fire exit at the agreed time, so be there. If anything should go wrong, you'll need to find another way out on your own. I'm guessing this console's as protected as they get. If I touch that, the shit will definitely hit the fan. I hope this key is active. Let's see. This controls the access to the decontamination chamber between the observation platform and the core itself. Very preoccupied. If I keep quiet and out of sight, I should be able to get past her. That's incredible. It looks like an alien creature. It's hard to believe that it's a biological computer.
She's getting agitated. We need to calm her down. The core's definitely reacting to external stimuli. But what? This doesn't look like the normal spikes. And there's absolutely no activity on Dreamnet. What's eating her? Good question. Whatever it is, it's serious. I've never seen her like this. Uh-oh. Guess who decided to pay us a little visit? Gilmore. None other. She's probably here for another status report. Why can't she just be happy with the daily briefings from the Chief? Don't say anything stupid, okay? I don't fancy getting fired just because you shoot your mouth off to her. She is the boss. And what idiot gave her that job? She has absolutely no qualifications and- Shh! Miss Gilmore, what an unexpected honor. May we help you with anything? I thought I'd come down here to check on the progress myself. Why are there only two of you here? It's Sunday evening. The team can't work 24 hours a day. They'll start making mistakes and- We're on shifts, Miss Gilmore. Dr. Lee and I have the core until tomorrow morning. Shifts? We're four months away from launch, everything's gone to hell, and your team's working shifts. People can take the day off when this crisis has been resolved. If Alchera doesn't launch as planned, you'll all be fired. I don't think you- I couldn't care less what you think. That's not what I pay you for. I pay you to find out who's fucking with my project. We're working on that. But it's been a difficult day. There have been spikes, and the leakage is getting worse. Meaning what? There have been fresh outbreaks of static interference across the wire, coinciding with violent fluxes in Angana. What sort of fluxes? Both physical spasms, like... like nervous twitches, and, and, and bursts of pure energy, and, and data. Hugely, hugely complex bursts of data. It doesn't make sense, but Angana appears to be... How shall I put this? Expanding, okay? There's, there's, there's more data inside it than it can physically store. How is that even possible? It really isn't. That's also why it's overloading, creating spikes that travel at the speed of light into the wire. If it keeps expanding... We might theoretically be able to shut it down. But we don't know what consequences that might have, both to the project and to the wire. It could be catastrophical. Everything connected to the wire, and I mean everything, could conceivably be affected. It's not an option. Disregarding the possible effects to the wire, if there's any chance the project's timeline will be thrown off, it's unacceptable. You'll have to identify the problem and isolate the intrusion into the system. Now, I want a detailed breakdown of what your team's doing and when I can expect to see concrete results. Can we stabilize the Dream Core? For short periods of time which gives us a window to test Dreamnet. Angana has responded positively to direct infusions of Morpheus. All right. Walk me through the process. 